Alrighty, welcome to the north shore of Lake Superior. Uh, we got up here late last night and um, decided to uh, uh, kind of scope out a few locations to shoot the sunrise from. Uh, we found ourselves just north of Duluth um, along Highway 61. And it's a beautiful morning out here. We have uh, some nice fog over the lake. Uh, the fall colors are gorgeous and um, yeah, we managed to get a decent sunrise here. Uh, a little broken clouds on the horizon. So, just gonna kind of uh, see how it goes and I really think this might be a, a decent shot here. Um, has come up and uh, I kind of found a composition I'm, uh, I'm liking right now uh, just looking uh, to the south here <clears throat> there's a, a nice branch here in the foreground uh, leading up into the, uh, the fall colors there on the, uh, the trees Sun has kind of gone behind a cloud right now but absolutely gorgeous morning I'm really happy to have these shots are turning out. Trying to keep my shutter speed pretty uh, pretty short. Nothing too long. And I'm trying to get that timing just right where I can get that water rushing over top of the, uh, the branch there. Give it a nice white cap look. Alrighty. So I'm found a new location here, and uh, I'd like to welcome my good friend Isaac Slings. You made it! <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna head down, down to that ledge there, uh, see if I can get a good uh, vantage point of this bridge here with the fall colors in the background. Really beautiful area. Let's well, hop down there. challenging scene to shoot right here um, you get the sky super bright in the background uh, your foreground is pretty dark so um, you're gonna have to probably do an HDR with this image here um, so basically I'm just kind of jumping between f11 ISO 100 uh, just uh, mess or mess with my exposure to get what I'm looking for here I think once we uh, stitch this together it'll turn out all right which is the point of getting there but yeah definitely with that sun rising up behind there it's really making it challenging uh, you can see Isaac over there he's uh he's over there shooting himself so we have we have a rare Isaac slings in the wild he's photographing a Whatever you want to call that thing. Yeah, nobody knows. But let's get that macro shot. We don't want to mess up his shot, so we're going to be really quiet here. Let's go get some food. We're, we're stuck behind the bushes. You can't see us. Brennan, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we're going to go uh, going on the Superior Hiking Trail up in uh, Tedaguche State Park. We're don't gonna know be... how to say that. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, heading up to the High Falls, uh, about a one mile hike. So yeah, see you guys when we get there. set up here at High Falls and um, I found this nice view kind of away from the people um, just looking down the waterfall uh, basically straight on uh, just like that 
and um, yeah, just taking a few shots here using the circular polarizer as well as a 10 stop ND filter. Um, since it's so the sun's so high in the day, uh, decided to have to throw on the 10 stop and uh, give that a whirl. But uh, kind of a harsh light, unfortunately, but I'm getting about an eight second exposure at F8, I believe, and uh, 200 ISO. So trying to keep that exposure down just a little bit. I don't want to go too long with this uh, waterfall, but uh, I might throw on a 24 millimeter here uh, and uh, see if I can get some emotion inside this, uh, this foamy area. Uh, I think that would add an extra element to the, to the image. So gonna give that a shot here and we'll see how it turns out. got back on the car here. Well, Isaac got back a little bit before I did. Um, but yeah, that was quite the hike. Uh, we got quite a bit of uphills and quite a bit of downhills, but uh, it was worth it for sure. Uh, mile, mile point two, I think, or mile point one, out and back. So uh, two and a half miles, just under two and a half miles for the round trip. Um, but anyways, yeah, have a, have a look at that view. There's a Superior down there, and you can even actually see uh, Wisconsin over there on the other side. So that's pretty neat. So we're gonna head um, head a little south here. Uh, hopefully we'll get a hold of Dan here pretty soon, both Dan's, <laughs> and uh, kind of see what their plan is and see if we can meet up with them and do some more shooting. So yeah. So we are heading out into the uh, interior of Minnesota, uh, trying to find some more fall colors here. Kind of pushing it close with the sunset. Uh, we got Dan in front of us right now. Dan and his wife Jessica and we are gonna kind of just check it out and see if we can find a good view um, and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get some images tonight alrighty so Dan and I have made it up to an overlook here kind of had to bush our whack our way up here uh, you can see the cars clear down there on the road that's where uh, Jessica and Isaac are um, but Dan say something to the camera how's it going <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah we're gonna see what the sunset brings there might be some clouds on the horizon so we might not get any any color at all but there's a view down to the road Decided to throw on the big stopper, 10 stop uh, filter as well. Gonna try to go ahead and uh, do a, about five minute exposure with these nice colored uh, clouds here. If I don't bump the tripod and die, but <clears throat> decent bit of color. You can kind of see down there on the on the hillside, we got a little bit of a uh, red coming through. Still a little before peak, I would say, but beautiful nonetheless. So, yeah. All right, so we are heading back to uh, grab, grab some food here. Pretty successful night of shooting. Um, what do you think about today's Beautiful. photography and all um, the fish? A lot of mud, a lot of great stuff. Uh, I think your long exposure on top of the hill is definitely something that makes me jealous. So. There's a neat lake, that's pretty. Wow. That is gorgeous. That, is that, that should have been where we were. I wanna live there. It is like, stop by. Well, look at it. Yep, that's where they stopped. Oh my gosh, we screwed up. It's okay, it's okay guys. 